What's going on guys, welcome back to episode number 16 of the Pure Iron Man series. Uh, before we get started, um, because this video is going to get us to 500 subscribers, there's going to be a giveaway as always, so if you do want to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel, and I will pick one of the comments at random as long as you've liked and subscribed also. Um, over the last week we have been doing a lot of mage training arena and we've actually managed to work our way all the way up to the master wand so I'm just going to purchase these now as you'll see and the master wand is an unlock that we've been looking for for a long time because it is a pretty good staff and I don't think I'll be getting the toxic trident too soon it will happen eventually of course but yeah it's a new best in slot magic weapon and that is an excellent start to the episode um, we're going to test it out later on in the episode and see how we get on and it's two plus 20 magic bonus, which is a real nice upgrade compared to what we were using before. We were just using normal elemental staffs or the Ivan staff. So up next, we're going to get into some clues. As always, boys, we are back and we have done an absolute ton of clue scrolls. Um, you'll see in the invent, we actually have 30 easy caskets and we also have 20 medium caskets. Um, the easy clues, as always, are from the hand members, thieving them. Um, I actually got a couple of thieving levels, um, almost 61 now. Um, and the medium clues are from Eclectic Implins. Um, we're also well on our way to 84 Hunter as well. So we're going to get things started off. We're going to open the easy clues first because they're usually um, not quite as good. Obviously, we're still hunting for the vestment robes uh, from these. And we also want to complete as many book pages as we can get. So let's get into the easy clues. First one, you get a lot of junk from these as always. Um, but we can elk a lot of stuff. Uh, some runes, not too bad. We've also got some teleports. You can get some pretty useful ones, but I mean the Lunar Isle one is completely useless to us. But hopefully we can get some Dig Sight ones and some other purple sweets. So yeah, a couple more sets of purple sweets. Some lore runes. Nothing great, nothing great. Not even a unique yet, I don't think. Um, that's the first invent done. Let's bank this stuff. We'll move on to the next one. Up next, let's see what we can get. More studded bodies, not really interested in any of those. We have had terrible luck so far. A bronze plate body G, that's actually kind of cool actually. And a Zamorak page. Uh, the bronze plate body G, we already have the helm, so that's probably an unlock. Bandos page, we've completed the Book of War, unfortunately, but at least we're starting to see some more clues. An ancient page, hopefully that is a unique. Um, let's have a look. No, we've already got that ancient page, that's annoying. The ancient book is actually pretty important to our account, so um, as it's the best in slot magic book, maybe. I think actually the um, mage's book might be better, but yeah, let's get the final few out and we'll have a little look at what we got. We got nine left. Um, oh, nice, yes, we've completed it. Guffix robe top, that is exactly what we needed. We're officially done with easy clues. Um, so if we go into the bank now, we can have a look at robe legs. We got plenty of robe legs and we also have a mitre so that is officially an unlock completed we have a full set of vestment robes um, and we're looking pretty nice now so yeah that's pretty much easy clues done we'll open up the rest of them um, and see if we can get anything else quickly nothing 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 great a black helm that's pretty cool and a iron kite shield t so yeah that's the first set of caskets done let's move on to the next set this could be the perfect run if we actually manage to get ranger boots from here we've actually got the manacles and we've got the whizzy boots so let's have a look 20 medium clue caskets adamant plate legs the good thing is with this you can get a lot of stuff you can out like there's just adamant everywhere which is really nice green dehyde bodies uh what else we got anything exciting green dehyde body g Addy Long, what an earth, cat mask, very exciting. Um, an armadillo page, hopefully we don't have that one. And some amulets of power, not too bad. Let's move on to the next set. Hopefully this uh, video will actually be 10 minutes plus as well. So I've got a lot of content in this video. So, and I know people like watching longer videos, so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how this goes. Um, so yeah, let's get into our final caskets. Lots of green dehyde bodies. A blessing, I'm pretty sure we already have that. Um, a lot of runes, some swordfish, blah blah blah. Nothing great. Go on, just show me those green boots. Uh, 10 purple sweets, so more swordfish, and then we have two clues left, which we shall open now. And then that will be that part of the video done. One more after this one. 
once again no ranger boots but we've got a lot of content there um, and we have completed the vestment robe so that is a good job done for what i could say um so yeah let's get on to the rest of the video and see how we have got on just thought i'd do a quick page update as well uh you can see we got free zami um we are one page away from the armadillo book and we are lacking on the ancient page front but now we've completed the um the easy clues armor we need to just get some caskets and we'll go on and try and try and complete them as quickly as possible but that'll probably be in the next episode now also been working on some mining uh, managed to get 74 mining i've just been doing the stars still getting the xp for that you'll see us pick up a few gem bags as well um, and these are actually good sources of you know teleports and uh, jewelry and things like that we're going to need a lot of sapphire soon because i do want to try and get some zilver kills i know i'm a little bit low combat yet um, but it's not too bad really um, I also have managed to get ourselves 79 magic which is nice because that is the level to be able to use entangle and that is going to be really handy when we come back to Scorpia so I thought I'm going to try some wieldy content um, I do kill revs off off camera quite a lot and I did get a dragon longsword drop which isn't too bad I think I've killed a couple of hundred by now but yeah we started um, making some diamond bolts uh, and these are going to be for future bossing and i use some of the gems that we got earlier on in the episode to make those um, and we can also enchant them as well these will come in handy for zora and these will come in handy for killing dagonoff supreme i think it is the one that you range because i was going to do both of them at the same time but it's a lot different it's pretty difficult with only 72 hit points at the minute so yeah we got ourselves some diamond bolts that is pretty good and overall i'm pretty happy with how the progress is going it's been pretty good and enjoyable to be honest and um yeah we've gone back to ancient magics and we've picked up some more food and this is actually a really good overpowered place to get some food i will get into the warriors guild soon um because potato with cheeses are actually a very nice source of food as well um and this is our new gear setup after we got some of the unlocks so we have a halo we have the samurai cape and we have some other stuff in there as well um managed to get some rex kills um these are in the background now i didn't think i got too much they're still hunting for the um berserker ring that we've been looking for and you see my alt in there as well i was actually using him to kind of spread the um spread the synopsis out so you don't take as much damage and it was actually working really well but eventually i did actually end up dying because i just don't even know what happened um and then we went back to some scorpia so we're still working on getting the dragon skim uh that'd be kind of the reason what makes me start melee training at the minute i don't really fancy training loads of a rune skimitar and then we'll get monkey madness done etc um uh yeah we finished off our slayer task in the end anyway and then we can carry on moving on into some other tasks because it took a long time to do this scorpio task unfortunately we didn't get too lucky in the end but oh well it's not the end of the world i don't think i actually finished all of them at scorpio because it's it just starting to bore me a little bit and i thought i don't want to just show the same things over and over and over again all the time so i thought i'm gonna just get some different tasks um obviously we'll be looking at temporarily getting around 65 for the wilderness hard diary i think it is and that's just so we can use the obelisks but that will probably be in the next episode once again like i said we have not really got much luck uh, we managed to get 61 slayer from that one or 60 slayer i think it was um and then prayer potions and stuff like that just to help keep up the bank it's all just stuff that you kind of use again whilst you are in the in the caves um i actually haven't seen one person in this cave yet and i was pretty surprised i don't know if it's classed as dead content but i guess there's it's a pretty cool pet as well if you do get the chance of getting that um but obviously that is a lot of uh kills to be able to even get a chance of getting that in my opinion so yeah we're just finishing up on the final scorpio kills um overall a lot of progress considering i only started recording this one week ago um i'm pretty happy with how we've actually managed to get on with the video it's been pretty nice um we have also got ourselves 61 slayer for the end of this episode and um overall once as always i just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who's been watching and supporting the channel um overall been really really enjoying making this account i'm also thinking about starting the fresh start world so if anybody would like to see that i kind of want to get a main for the next game for like the end game so i can fund uh bonds and stuff pretty easily on this account so it might be cool to idea to start a fresh start world but i think they could die out pretty quickly so if anybody does want to leave a comment and let me know how 
they would feel about me starting a fresh start account that would be pretty interesting to know so yeah once as always guys thanks for watching the video um and i will see you all in the next one don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well to enter the giveaway and leave a comment thanks for watching cheers